My name is Maradona. Google Your name? Maradona. Maradona. <sighs> so this is my very first time eating in a restaurant here in Kyrgyzstan and I'm very very excited. I'm looking at the menu and there's so much variety here but there's just one big problem. Not only am I learning about new food, I'm learning about the history today. <laughs> Thank you, Gushada. Woo! Oh, 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 it's, oh, 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 cow feet. It's strong, it's strong, it's the, it's the cow feet. And I have to congratulate the kalpak on my head, the famous kalpak. Would you wear it? Let me know in the comments. I absolutely love it. Good morning, beautiful people. It's your friend here smiling around the globe and I'm back once again with a new video for you guys. The time is around 11 a.m. right now and I've woken up in a brand new city today. In fact, not even a brand new city, a brand new country. That's right. I've left Uzbekistan and I've traveled to the nearby neighboring country of Kyrgyzstan. I'm starting my trip here in Kyrgyzstan in the city of Osh and I'm staying in a cute little local guest house owned by a local family. The really nice owner Goshada has invited me to enjoy some breakfast with her so I'm gonna go into the kitchen now and I'm gonna show you what's on the menu. Let's go. Always save electricity, turn off the light. You have a really nice home, Gushada. It is a very old home. Ah, it's old home, okay. Yeah, it's ah. about 100. Whoa, 100 years My old. My father built it. Ah, so it's been in the family generations. Yeah. Wow, he did a good job. I really want to show you the food in front of me. The correct name, Gushada, maybe you can help. Uh, what is the name? Cook Chichwara. Cook. Oh, that's a tough one for me. Cook Chichwara. Cook Chu. Chwara. Yes. Cook chu chwa chwa blah <laughs> Cook chu chwara. Something yes. like Cook that. Chuchwara. Ah, okay. And this word it originates it's an Uzbek word or would you it's Uzbek language, yes. So this food is actually originates from Uzbekistan, but since the city of Osh is how many kilometers from Uzbekistan? It's literally just five, would you say? Ah uh, it's uh, yes, it's five kilometers, Ouch. maybe six kilometers. And historically this these places was belong to Uzbek kingdoms ah, and all okay. nations here was uh, Uzbek nations. Ah once upon a time. Wow. There you go guys. It's for the a centuries, for the many, many centuries before Soviet Cup. Ah before okay, many, many years ago. Not only am I learning about new food, I'm learning about the history today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gushada. So as you just heard once upon a time, Osh actually belonged to the kingdom or the country of Uzbekistan. Even today, you can still find a lot of Uzbek influence. Here we go, we're eating Uzbek food. So let me show you these amazing little dumplings. They look very yummy. It's, it's an Uzbek culture to make it with herbs. Okay, yeah. I like it because I feel like I'm eating quite unhealthily recently. It's difficult in Uzbekistan, you know, there's just Osh, Shashlik, Mantu. Norin is just on a repeat cycle, so I do like to eat vegetables. Okay, and let's uh, and as you heard Gushada just say, inside the cute little dumplings is some delicious herbs. Yes. And are you the chef, Gushada, or what? No, was no, it your no. friend? I, I bought it. Okay. I ordered it to ah. prepare for me. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's do it. Cheers, Nashrovie. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Get in my belly! It's like spinach. Spinach, you know? Oh. Maybe it is spinach. I don't know what is inside. Oh. Which kind of herb is inside? Yeah, it's very yummy. It's very soft. Oh, I need to try again. Gushada has just stepped away from the table to take a phone call, and look who's just taken her place. This little guy. What are you doing there? Do you want a dumpling? He feels left out. He really wants to try the dumpling. Gushada actually gave him a dumpling. And guess what? He sniffed at it and decided, I'm not eating that. That's too healthy for me. I need some meat or some tuna. 
Maybe some fish. <laughs> Funny little guy. Okay guys, it's time to start my day. And since I've just arrived in a brand new country, it's time to learn about the local culture and the traditions here in Kyrgyzstan. And I think I know the best place to receive this education. Not the local library, not the local school, but the local bazaar. Yes, that's right. I think if I go to the local market, I think I will be exposed to so many different cultural items, food, the clothes, and plus I can always interact with the local people, which is something that I love very, very much. It's an opportunity for me to... For example, up in the sky above, we have a flock of birds flying overhead. In the local language, you can call them kush. Kush means bird, and to make it plural, because it's rare to see a bird flying alone, unless it's an apex predator like a, an eagle or a hawk, you can say kushla. Kushla means birds. Goodbye, my beautiful guest house. I will see you soon. Okay, which way to go? Right or left? I don't know. Um, ah! Hey guys, what are you doing up there? Okay, it's time to go to the local bazaar. I've got a feeling it's gonna be fun, guys. I'm very excited. The lovely owner of the guest house I'm currently staying at, who you met earlier, Gulshada, she has informed me that here in Kyrgyzstan, they actually have a national hat. And hopefully today I can find it at the bazaar. So that is the only thing on my shopping list today, to find this national hat. Okay, let's go. Guys, it's just not meant to be. The bazaar is closed on Monday. I don't know why, the first day of the week, you would expect it to be open, right? But yeah, that's sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. I didn't really have a plan B, but now I find myself in an amusement park. There's lots of different, right? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, akha jonla. So, let's have a little walk around here. I'm not gonna lie, I need some food, so hopefully there's a restaurant that I can find some sustenance, something to fill my stomach up and give me some energy. Oh, sweet corn, okay. Akhajon, Akhajon, Salam alaikum, Kalesis. Kakdila. Um, oh, so once upon a time, this little food stall sold candy floss and sweet corn, but today, Today it's being used as a dustbin. So, Kancha, how much sweet corn? Finished! Okay, okay. Thank you, Okha John. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Osh. How are you? These people are being very friendly to me. Nice to meet you. How are you? Ah, Akha John, Salam Alaikum, how are you? My friends, my my friends, my belly, dustum, dustum, dustum. My belly, very hungry. I need to eat um, osh or lakman. Where, where to find? Butter lakman. Ah, oh, okay. wow, mashallah, mashallah, beautiful, nice beard. Oh, today. Ah, privet. Babushka la. No, 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 no. No, 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 ruski. Chut, chut. I don't understand. You can speak English, of course, yes? <laughs> Little yeah, bit? No. no. <laughs> Today, very, ah, choo choo. Okay, Biros, 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 okay. Nine miss, nine miss. Ah, my name. Men, uh, men is min Said John. Said John? Uzbekski? No, no, no. Many, Mening is min Scott. 
Scotland. I'm from oh, Anglia. Scotland. Nice to meet you, single John La. Okay, I've made my first cookies, friends. Oh, no, no, no filter, please. <laughs> Man, I'm going to try and speak my little bit of Uzbek. Okay. I cannot see me. Oh, can I sis? So, okay. Jandos. Jandos. Me. No. Jandos. Tentek. Naughty. My name is Maradona. Your name? Maradona. Maradona. <laughs> Beautiful name. Ah, Oka John, single John, salam alaikum. Chong Rakmat. Chong Rakmat. Thank you very much. Tashekila, Dero. Ah, Tashekila. Ah, I'm famous. Hello, my friends. I love you all. Lou Blue, Lou Blue. Ah, Oka John, salam alaikum. Hello. So this is my very first time eating in a restaurant here in Kyrgyzstan and I'm very very excited. I'm looking at the menu and there's so much variety here but there's just one big problem. It's written in Russian but thankfully the young man who works here came over and he helps me with the translation. In the end I've decided on my personal favorite Lakman. Maybe it's a different style to the lakman that I'm used to in Uzbekistan. Let me show you the menu anyway. These are the photos. This is called shoba. This is lakman. This is... Actually, I don't know what that is. This is chicken, tabuk, manti, shashlik. So very similar to the foods in Uzbekistan, I would say. Okay guys, I think my lakman is ready. I'm so excited. Wow, guys, look at that. This is a mountain of lachman. I'm trying to pick it up. It's actually pretty heavy. Wow, you've got meat, you've got peppers, you've got tomatoes, and you've got these amazing noodles at the bottom. Oh my goodness, guys, that lachman was nothing short of amazing. Look at the plate now. I've only got the sauce left, and since I'm not one to waste food, even the sauce, even the gravy, I've ordered some bread. And when the bread was delivered, I touched it, it was a little bit cold, it was quite hard. So I said to the man, is it possible to order hot bread? He went the extra mile for me. He went to the local bakery, it's a short walk, 100 meters away. He actually bought me some hot bread. So that's very kind of him. And here it is. <laughs> so the plan is now to dip it in the sauce, like this. And... I've always been a believer that bread is just bread. Something you dip in your soup, something you put in between meat to make a sandwich. But since traveling around Central Asia, my eyes have been truly opened due to the vast variety of different bread that you can find. For instance, right now the bread that I'm eating, it's so interesting. On the bottom, it's very crispy and crunchy. And then on the top, it's very soft. And so delicious. I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay guys, all I've told you so far is that we're visiting a bazaar today. But right now, I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about what to expect. Let's start with the name of the bazaar. The name of the bazaar is J Ma Bazaar. I did some research, I did a couple of Google searches and unfortunately I cannot find the English translation or the meaning of the name but what I did find is some interesting information. For example, this bazaar is a very significant and historical bazaar here in the city of Osh. It has been around for 1000 years, one millennium, ever since the days of the Silk Road trading route. It's a very, very special bazaar here, so I'm so excited to visit it. But first, because whenever I visit a bazaar, I have so many interactions, and I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot of energy and effort. So I need to make sure my energy is at its capacity. So firstly, let's go and get some lunch. So I'm going to have one of my favorite meals, the, the classic samsa. Let's go.
Okay, we have just entered the restaurant. Let's get a table and let's order some delicious damdul samsas. Okay, guys. We finally got a table. This place seems to be very, very popular with the local people. So I'm sure the food is extra delicious. I've got the menu in front of me. And assalamu alaikum, Appa John La. Hello, hello. And of course, as always, the menu is in Ruski, in Russian. So I don't understand anything, but that's not a problem. I know exactly what I want to order. So I will hopefully find a waiter or maybe I just go and order myself. I'm going to order myself two meat samsas and I'm very excited. Saranich, Iltimos, please. So, samsa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two gusht, gusht, samsa. Thank you. Chong Rahmat, Apa John, thank you. Okay, I just made my order. <laughs> Every time I try and have an interaction with local people, I always end up speaking so many different languages, a little bit of Russian, a little bit of the local language, a little bit of English. And of course, you have to use a lot of body language. Ah, uh, where, where am I from, Apa John? Anglia, Anglia. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay, maladets. <laughs> the samsas have finally been delivered. These are very interesting samsas, guys. My experience with samsas has largely only been in the country of Uzbekistan. But these definitely look different. They've got a different color to them. They're like brown and dark brown and light brown. Oh. Have a little look inside. Mm. Look at that. Mm. You've got some delicious meat, some delicious onions. Okay guys, now that I've got some energy, thanks to them Damdu Samsas, I'm entering the bazaar. It's pretty interesting. There's a lot going on, lots of different little stalls. There is one thing in particular that I'm searching for right now, and it's the National Hat of Kyrgyzstan. I'm determined to find it. It has to be here somewhere. It's just a case of finding it. Oh, oh, thank you. Whoa. I've just found sweet heaven. Oh my God, look at all these biscuits. I'm gonna have to treat myself to some of these biscuits. These look amazing. Uh, these are my my personal favorite. Let's see. Hello, Apa John, salam alaikum. Um, Kalesis. Zo, zo, zo. Yakshi, yakshi. This one, please, Afajon, my favorite. Uh -huh. Look at these little cute ones. These are like the little dolls in Russia. So, the name of the hut that I'm looking for is called the Ak Kaupak. This is two separate words. The first word Ak means white and Kalpak is Turkish for hut. Essentially, if I translate it to English, the name would be White Hut. And when we find it in the bazaar, you will see that all the huts are white and embroidered onto them are different unique patterns. But this special hut is a symbol of national identity for Kyrgyz men. Look, 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 he's got one. <laughs> The bus driver's got one. Assalamu alaikum, Akajon. Kalpak, very nice. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Time to get back into the madness of the bazaar. And I hope we can find a Kalpak. Ah, single John. Okay, we're heading in. Let's see. Oh my god. Guys. Guys. I'm in Kalpak heaven. I found it. Finally. Oh. Ah, single John, salamu alaikum, kalesis. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the beautiful Kalpak, the national hat of Kyrgyzstan. So I'm going to ask single John, let's just have a look. Which one do I like the look of? Wow, such a nice material. Traditionally, the Kalpak is actually made from wool, but 
I guess a woolen version would be a little bit expensive, so I'm happy to take the the knockoff cotton version. No problem. Let's have a look. <laughs> Single John, the cow pack, Kancha. Oh no. 100. 150. Yeah. That's very cheap. That's a good price. Okay, let's try it on. Oh, squeeze it on. My first time wearing the cow pack. Men, Kogi's a kek. Men, Kogi's a kek. I am Kogi's man. Ah, babushka, salamu alaikum. Atkuda. Ah, Atkuda. Anglia. Hello. America. No, Anglia, England. Britannia, Britannia. Prasiva. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, spasiba, spasiba, okay. <laughs> okay guys, so right here in my hand is a genuine kalpak. It's a little bit expensive. If I wanted to buy this, it would cost me... Ah, Apa John, Khoshkeldenis, welcome. Hello. Dobri den. And this actually cost 50... No, no, 50, 500. 500 Kogi's sum, which in US dollars is around 50 dollars, so... I'll have to politely decline for this one. I would love if I was a millionaire then I would definitely buy it, but okay single John Chong Rachmat. Okay guys, I've just spent the past maybe 10 minutes trying on these beautiful cow packs. Look at them all. It's tough. I like all of them. I feel like I'm on one of them dating shows, the The Bachelor, where I have to choose which which lady I like the most. And it's a it's with a heavy heart that I have to say goodbye to these cowpacks and I have to congratulate the cowpack on my head because this is the one that I've chosen and guys wait until I tell you how much this hat is going to cost me this hat cost only 200 kogis sum which is a little bit more than two dollars and it's a nice hat I think if you look inside okay the quality is not the best but if you look on the outside the embroidery the material for two dollars you know how can i say no okay guys it's time to pay apa john her dengis okay apa john chong <laughs> rachmat beep no <laughs> dengi okay dengi no problem we got dengi let's see 100 200 Thank you, Spasiba. Okay. 200, 250. Really? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Why? Why? 250? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay. Thank you, Apajan. So what do you think, guys? What do you think about my latest purchase? My new hat? The famous Kalpak. Would you wear it? Let me know in the comments. I absolutely love it. So right now I'm at the local fruit and vegetable market and just look at all this beautiful produce on offer. Oranges, garlic, lettuce, peppers, tomatoes, pickles. You name it, it's here. There's so much delicious fruits and vegetables on offer. And everybody keeps on giggling when I walk past because my outfit is a little bit bizarre. The Japan is actually the national dress of Uzbekistan and then the Kalpak is the national dress of Kyrgyzstan. So I'm wearing the national dress of actually two countries at the same time. So it's quite amusing for people to see. <laughs> no exaggeration guys, this bazaar is gigantic. I swear, ah, Kalpak, Salam alaikum akajon. Very nice. Oh, he is not looking too happy. I've been walking now for what feels like maybe two kilometers and look at this. It's just the same site. Lots of different shops selling lots of clothes and miscellaneous items. When will this end? I feel like I'm trapped in an alternate reality. And this bazaar is never ending. It's infinite. Just like the universe is expanding all the time, this bazaar is also expanding all the time. I'll be honest, I wish I knew what I was speaking about, but I don't even know myself. 
Actually guys, I think I can see the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see the exit. I'm so close to freedom. <laughs> so my new friend here, Akajon, Salaamu Alaikum, Priviyat Bratan. He's selling the most unusual thing, cow feet. Uh, okay, okay. okay, okay. Vakusna? Yeah. Delicious? Delicious yeah. Mazali? Damdu, damdu. Yeah, uh, okay. damdu. Thank you, my friend. Wish you damdu. Oh, Akajan, Khoshkalipsis, welcome. How are you? Kalisis. Yakshi. Ah, Yakshi, Yakshi. Karasho, Karasho. Oh, ready? Three, two, one. Kyrgyzstan. Hey, <laughs> beautiful. Ah. Baruta, <laughs> looking same. <laughs> same. Okay, my friend. Jumping bus. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, 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 cow feet. It's strong, it's strong. It's the, it's the cow feet. Okay, my friend. Okay, okay. Guru Shubas, Guru Shubas. Anglia. Anglia. England, yes. Nice to meet you, Akajo. As you can see, the Kyrgyz people really appreciate it when you take the time to learn their languages. On appearance, they might seem quite cold and unfriendly. But actually, they are beautiful and very welcoming people. Yes! I finally made it out of the bazaar, guys. For a moment there, I thought it would never end. I had to take a couple of seconds to let my eyes readjust to the light. I was in that dark bazaar for so long. Anyway, now that I'm back outside, I'm breathing in the fresh, cold air. It's time to continue this adventure. Okay guys, don't cry, but that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please take a second to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way, you will not miss any future videos. See you next time. I love you all.